Hello, my name is Ray Agliata with Acero Services. Today we're going to be learning how to winterize a property, specifically a dry system. Before we get started, we need the following equipment. Generator, extension cords, vacuum, air hose, toilet covers, channel locks, adjustable wrench, screwdriver, winterization labels, garden hose, zip ties, bucket, mop, and gloves, inline pressure test gauge, air compressor, and non-toxic antifreeze. When performing winterizations, it's important to know what kind of system you'll be working with. Wet systems include radiators, baseboard heaters, radiant floor heat. Dry systems include metal ductwork, vents in the floors and walls. Today we will be working on a dry system. The first thing we need to do is to take before photos. These photos include all sides of the exterior of the property. Photos before all winterization services, including sinks and toilets. After you take photos, we need to do the following steps. Complete an inspection of the plumbing system of the property. Take note if there are missing or damaged pipes, toilets, sinks, or even a missing water heater. If all is intact, you can proceed with the winterization. See if the water to the property is on. If so, turn off the street side valve. Carefully remove water meter. Water meter and components are to remain at the property. Plug water meter lines with proper size fittings. Zip tie street side and house side valves closed. De-energize the water heater by turning off the breaker or turning off the gas cock. Attach garden hose to water heater. Find a good place to drain, like a sump pump hole or sink, and begin draining the water. In the laundry room, attach inline pressure test gauge. If laundry room is not available, this step can be performed at the outside hose bib. As lines are pressurizing, beginning on the highest floor, drain each water line and faucet. Go to the basement and begin draining the water heater. Make sure all valves are closed and begin pressurizing the system again. The system needs to hold 35 PSI for 30 minutes. Clean the toilets and sinks. Use a shop vac to remove any water or debris in the toilet or toilet tank. You'll want to put antifreeze into all traps. It's impossible to add antifreeze to a dirty toilet. A clean toilet and sink is key. Place one winterization sticker in each wet room. Please do not place any stickers on the front door or windows of the property. For every toilet, place a company approved toilet cover and don't forget to poke out the air holes. Plastic wrap, tape, or other types of toilet covers are not permitted. If any problems occur during winterization and the system will not hold 35 PSI, try to isolate and find the issues. Simple fixes like tightening or replacing valves under the sink or toilet may remedy the situation. Check with your state representative for repair allowables. If there are additional problems like broken pipes and walls or ceilings, report back to Acero immediately. Make sure you clean up your work areas. This includes wiping and mopping floors. Review the winterization checklist and make sure that all steps have been completed. When doing winterizations, you need to document the following action and after photos. After the winterization steps have been completed, this house is now prepared for the colder months ahead. This is Ray Agliata from Acero Services. Thank you for watching our video today. For any further information, please visit our website at acero24.com.